Many expatriates moving to the region find themselves with the problem of hair thinning and hair loss, often attributed to the quality of water. However, Harklinikan, a Danish hair restoration brand, says there are many factors to be considered. Since opening its first clinic in Dubai, they say they continue to see a number of residents. Khadija Sali reports on the growing industry of hair treatment and loss. The harsh weather conditions and the hardness of water are often blamed for thinning hair and baldness in this region. 54-year-old G-boy Jacob believes it's hereditary, and Ruth Pokri says it is due to multiple reasons. I came uh, 12 years back, and uh, at that time I was having hair, not too much, but I was having hair with me. I've been here for the past 12 years. Uh, from the time I've come in to, to today, I have definitely lost a lot of hair. I think of uh, the water conditions here, the extreme climates really uh, does damage and affect the hair. My hair is falling over here. Look, at, I'm bold now. So, change of diet, uh, lack of fast food, uh, little bit oily stuffs. So, I think that's why. Only one out of five people we spoke with said he is unaffected. I've been five years, now six years running, I'm finished. But my hair is still there like that, only a little bit white. This isn't a surprise to Lars Kut, founder and CEO of Har Kliniken, a Danish hair restoration brand. I can see with several reasons. First of all, when you come here, you might have a different lifestyle. Uh, you might be more in the seawater, you might be more in the sun, you might eat differently, there might be more stress. The newly opened clinic on Jumeirah Beach Road receives 30 to 50 calls a day, with a clientele including royalty and celebrities. Men would be losing it more in specific areas like the temples and at the back of the head, the crown, whereas women be be will be losing the hair more diffuse, more sporadic over the entire scalp, so women notice a lot later. With over two decades dedicated to the research and development of hair thinning and loss treatments, Scoot says they have seen a total of 65,000 patients worldwide. Majority of their patients are given specialized treatment called extract, which is custom created for every individual and prepared for easy home use. Depending on the severity of the problem, a person could spend an average of 500 dirhams a month on non-surgical treatments, while those who require transplants can look at spending between 20,000 to 89,000 dirhams. All the elements that we used are plant-based. They are built or based also on, on lactoproteins. They are built on mi milk bacteria acids. We do not use any color, no perfume, no problematic preservatives. Whether it's the hair-raising factors of stress, pollution, diet, lifestyle, or even the quality of water, Hair thinning and loss is preventable as well as curable for many. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.